Hello everyone. As we all know, uh, while we are using a smaller network, uh, we need to ensure the packet is delivering from one particular network machine to another network machine. Uh, so we are normally uh, normally use the static routing scenario. Let me see uh, using the packet tracer uh, how the static routing is working, and uh, I will just uh, creating a scenario like. Uh, two routers i will choose this uh, 2811 uh, router and i will place these two routers over here and uh, as the npcs npcs i will select from here and the npcs is like uh, uh, these are the npcs let me select the uh, connections between the routes uh, for the easy uh, purpose i will choose this automatically chosen connection and I will click on here and it is directly linked to router and I will click on here and uh, I will directly link to the second router and between the router also I will create the automatic connection let me see uh, so the links are created and uh, we need to name this network uh, before going to the uh, connectivity and the static routing procedure and I will name here uh, this network is named as 192.168 1.0 network and the second network is named as 172.16 and 1.0 network and here also I will put uh, one internal network that is 10.10.1.0 so we create the three networks and we will create the three network and uh, internally need to put the IP address of these two PCs and uh, click on this IP address and desktop and IP configuration and I will create here 192.168.1. One uh, for the IP is 1.2 and the subnet mask is automatically created and uh, here I will create an exit interface that is the default gateway for this particular network that is this interface and this is 192.168. 1.1 I will put uh, the default gateway as the first address uh, for uh, for the remember uh, for remembering easily uh, so this one is created and is uh, sim similar way we can create the other network and going to desktop IP configuration and this one is 172 172 16 and uh, 1.2 I will put and this is the subnet mask and correspondingly we can create uh, here also uh, I will put uh, 172 16 1.1 as the default gateway of this network okay also uh, um, the end connectivity is over uh, now we move on to uh, the router side a router uh, I am clicking on this router and for the router uh, we are going to the config and uh, we have normally two interfaces one is called f0 bar 1 and other one is f0 bar 0 so f0 bar 0 i will choose this connection and i will put 192 168 network and the uh, uh, default gateway is 1.1 and mask is created and turn it on okay we can see here this uh, connectivity is uh, green and it's uh, now it is okay and going to the other end uh, 0 bar 1 network uh, this network is 10.10.1.0 I will put here 10.10.1.1 uh, network here and the uh, subnet mask is created I will, I will turn it on ok similar cases I will uh, go for the second router and go to configuration and first I will check this interface it is F0 bar 0 and this one is 0 bar 1 and for F0 bar 0 uh, and I will create 172.16.1.1 1 .1 is the IP or the gateway address and similarly the subnet mask and turn it on and uh, 0 bar 1 it is 10.10 uh, .10 network 10.10.1. .10 uh, second address that is 10.1.2 uh, and the mask is automatically generated and it is uh, also turn it on now we can see here uh, both the interfaces and uh, every connections interfaces everything is up now and uh, still it is not communicated because we can see here uh, while i am putting this uh, single pdu over here and over here it, uh, it is remain failed 
okay this router is uh, didn't uh, ensure the connectivity from one network to other other network so in this simple scenario we will go for the static routing static routing is uh, it's a simple case and each and every router ensure the participation of packets ensure the participation of one network uh, to the other network and i will create a scenario here whatever packets coming from this network it will go to this network through this exit interface okay the same same case uh, i will create in this net uh, in this router whatever packets coming from this network it will directly go to this network through this exit interface okay let me see i will click on the first router and we can see here first router i am going to static we are creating the static route uh, going to static and what is network what is network id okay i will create on this router okay so whatever packet is coming from this network going to this network the second network so uh, we we can have the network address like 172 uh, the packet going to which network that should be mentioned here 172 16 1.0 is a network this network we need to send packets from this router okay this is the network we need to send packet and the corresponding uh, mask address 255 255 255 and 0 the next to hop address is nothing but uh, through which interface through which exit interface the packet going into this network this is the exit interface f0 bar 1 the packet going into this network so i will put here uh, this exit interface having the ip address 10.10.1.2 uh, .10 okay just click add so it is added okay this is one side is okay and going to other side other router the same case we have to create whatever packets coming from this pc this pc it will allow to go to this network through this exit interface to this particular network so we need to add this network and this exit interface into this router okay going to static and the router uh, the network is 192 1.0 network and the mask address is 255 255 255 .0. and the corresponding hop address this is the exit interface here and the address become 10.10.1.1 .10 .1. I, I put on that and uh, I will just add here add okay this uh, IP route is created here so this is the simple technique uh, to communicate from one network to another network let me see the communication okay I will choose this uh, simple PDU from this machine to this router in a local area network it is okay and from this machine to this router the communication is successful and again from this router to this router uh, internal router config first is going to fail oh, then you can again click on this router to this router it is successful again okay let me ping from this pc to this pc if it is working or not okay i will go to the command prompt and using the command like ping command and this uh, interface uh, this uh, machine ip address 172 1.2 i will put the ip address and click enter you can see uh, it is pinging superbly and it is uh, it is pinging superbly and uh, let's go to this pc also and you can check here uh, go to command prompt and just ping on this network uh, this 192 network that is 192 168 uh, 1.2 yes yes this is also pinging oh great uh, so this network create uh, this is the static routing a static routing scenario uh, we can create the static route between the uh, two different network and uh, we can uh, in this way we can simply communicate from a simple network to another network and we can ensure the participation of uh, this computer and uh, packets are going uh, smoothly to other network okay this is static routing hope you enjoy this video and uh, uh, this is the scenario happening in the case of a smaller network static routing and we can create more networks uh, more complex network using a uh, dynamic routing also uh, 
so thank you so much for watching watching this video uh, this is the simple scenario that happened uh, in the case of uh, real time uh, okay thank you so much uh, if you like this video please uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, we will see the next video is coming soon that is dynamic routing as well as uh, the next uh, typical videos like vlan configuration etc we will see in the next videos hope you enjoy this video okay see you next time take care